Hello, everybody. This is Danilo Cuellar from the Non-Aggression Parenting Podcast. Out here in beautiful nature once again with you all. Recently, I was at a playground with my friends and their kids and my kids. And there was a vending machine at this playground. And my son and their friends kept asking me for money to to spend on the on the vending machine to get some soda I said no they kept on insisting trying to get soda out of the vending machine through various means and eventually they resorted, my son resorted to going into my bag where my wallet was and taking money out of my wallet and putting it in the vending machine without my knowledge. And he thereafter got soda for him and his friends. When I realized this later, when we were on our way home, I became quite incensed at the idea that my son would do such a sneaky thing without my consent, without my approval. And it got me wondering, what is the most important lesson to be learned? But there are very many lessons to be taught from this situation. In my mind, the foremost of which is trust. As parents, we need to be able to trust our children. We need to be able to have them believe that we are on their side, that we do not mean them harm. And if we want something for them, it is in their best interest and they should they should consider it seriously. They should not think that we are their enemy, that we are against them. And it turned out that when I asked my son after the fact, after the incident, he lied about where he got the money from and he blamed it on his friends, that his friends told him to get the money from my wallet, which is untrue. But apparently, it came out later that it was entirely my son's idea to get the money from my wallet. So my son lied, steal, stole. Uh, and, um, and so I had a, a conversation with him and I did lose my temper. I did get angry. I am not a perfect parent. And that is remnants from my own childhood that I must contend with daily. And I was talking to my kids about how important trust is um, because I will not be there always. My wife will not be there always. And they need to know that hopefully we have a bond between us that is unbreakable, right? that is firm. And, and so for me, trust is the number one issue here. I need to be able to trust them and they need to be able to trust me and my wife. And the secondary issue is the lying and the stealing. Um, and, uh, and so I was discussing with my son that um, why is lying bad? Why is it shunned? Because in the majority of human existence we are ruled by reputation right this is what we mean when we say that anarchy is all around us the rules of social organization the rules of propriety the rules of civilization are not handed down through legislatures and the Congress they are not mandates and edicts enforced by guns no they are rules of propriety that are enforced 
horizontally, by social organization, by peers, by ostracism, by boycotts. And this is a beautiful thing. This is how the market regulates itself absent the state. This is how the market has always regulated itself. And so if you are getting a reputation of being dishonest, of going back on your word, of lying, then you will quickly be perceived by others as being untrustworthy, as being deceptive. And nobody wants to trade with an untrustworthy person, with a person who does not keep their word, who's, who does not abide by the contracts that they agree to. This is not a person to be trusted. This is a person to be shunned and ostracized, rightly so. This is the power of honesty, of keeping your word, of truthfulness. And so lying commits this most fundamental sin of propriety, of civilization. And I do not want my son to learn that the hard way. I am trying my darndest to teach him through words, through explanation, why honesty and keeping your word is so important throughout life. And then, of course, there was the stealing, which, of course, is very simple, simply understood. By most children when you understand about self-ownership about property rights although the lines I, I uh, concede are blurry in the instance of the family because in the family structure sometimes things are shared communally like communism in a sense but not necessarily strictly so. And so my wife was explaining that's perhaps why my son thought it was okay to take the money because we share everything. But I think my, my son knows better. And it was a conscious decision to take the money, to take my money. So that's a very important lesson to learn is the idea of property rights and self-ownership. Self-ownership, uh, property rights being an extension of self-ownership. If we own ourselves and our actions, then we own the fruits of our actions, the fruits of our labor. Those are 100% ours. And if somebody would like to enjoy those fruits, then they must ask for consent. So these are some of the lessons that I drew from this most instructive incident that occurred to us. Um, I hope that this can help benefit you all in your relationships with your children. Because when we are interacting with our children, there are countless ways to teach them about the world. Every interaction Every circumstance has a lesson hidden deep within. And it is our job, it is our duty to find that lesson and to teach them. There is always something to learn. And there is always something that we can learn as well. <laughs> so thank you very much for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from the Non-Aggression Parenting Podcast. Wishing you all have a magnificent day. Enjoy nature.